gotta put my cheaters on. You know, a lot of stuff goes on I don't make comments about because it's not, it's not my place, it's not, but I will say this, just as, um, be cautious, be cautious on who you ally yourself with and who you, uh, choose to be friends with or who you associate with. Be mindful of all that. Be mindful of your associations, people that you uh, travel with, break bread with. I mean, don't get me wrong. I break bread, travel and associate with a lot of people but that I'm hoping to reach. But what I'm talking about here are those that you would hope to claim as tr a true friend. So what is a true friend? Well, I think it kind of, and I have some notes in my uh, very wise notebook here to help guide me, because there are some pretty good uh, quotes that I think might help clarify some of it, some of the things that I think. And if you don't have friends, and if you feel you are alone, I think it's better to be alone. It's better to be true to yourself and to be alone and to know who you are. To know who you are, how you respond, how you navigate life, turmoil, challenges, how you process and digest joy, happiness, the good times and the bad times, how you respond. That's how you get to know your own self. And, I mean, honestly, you can't really do that if you're coloring everything through a a mind-altering substance, or, you know, alcohol, or you're throwing yourself in a bottle, or anything like that. But those of you that are alone, don't be depressed, man. I think that you're better off to use that time and turn it into an opportunity and get to know yourself better. Find out what the real truths are to you and your character, to the development of self. But, and just remember, wherever you're at today, things need to be dynamic, constant motion, constantly evolving and becoming better and becoming more. And again, you have to make yourself available. And to be available, you have to make yourself vulnerable. You have to be willing to be vulnerable. If you close up like a trap, if you close it off, then you're not available. You're not available, so how can you ever hope to truly share anything? How can anyone ever actually know you, and how can you ever actually know them and even know yourself? I don't know if it makes any sense to you, but, but try to bear this in mind, perhaps. The strongest steel is forged in the hottest fire. And the seeds of strength are often contained within the husk of weakness. That's some heavy stuff when you think about it. The seeds of strength are often contained within the husk of weakness. That was certainly my case, if you'd have looked at me as a young lad. We rejoice in our sufferings because we know that suffering produces perseverance. Perseverance, character, and character, hope. You know, it's said that men sharpen men as iron sharpens iron. Well, 
when iron sharpens iron, both the object being sharpened and the object being used to sharpen, both are changed in the process. Both are changed in the process. When you sharpen steel, you're actually removing edges, piecing, shaving slivers of that steel as you refine it, as you sharpen it, and that should be your outlook too. Just like you might shirk off or, or slough as you, as you age and as you expand and evolve, bad habits, there's some negative feelings, hopefully baggage that you carry around that's weighing you down. Your past is your past and you can own your past. That's fine, man, but you can't drag it around like an anchor. It's too much for any man to take on. You can own it, you can acknowledge it, and then move onward, man, move onward. Don't let it hold you back. And those that you choose to associate with, that you hope to call friend, recognize that as a man can sharpen a man, similarly can iron sharpen iron, but in the process, both are changed. Both are changed. It's a two-way street, in other words, it's very simple, simple way to put it. When one thing sharpens another, the substance on the sharpening surface must be harder than the material being sharpened. So if you're looking for if you're still in the early stages of development and you're looking for guidance, look at the source. Look closely at the source. In the sharpening of iron, with iron, both pieces change, the sharpener and the one being sharpened. I've already, I've already said that. Friends should be able to offer help and receive instruction Friends sharpen each other instead of tearing down. Open rebuke is better than love carefully concealed. Faithful are the wounds of a friend, but the kisses of an enemy are deceitful. We need to come to appreciate the encouragement and the candid criticism of a friend with kindness and generosity. Can two walk together unless they are agreed? Basically, that either sounds like a bunch of mumbo jumbo to you or it means something. And if it means anything, I'm hoping that you understand that the, uh, the base message is that you're never alone, even when you're by yourself. You're not alone. If you feel alone, you need to look at yourself very closely. You need to try to always look at the, turn a negative into a positive wherever possible. Turn a loss into an opportunity, and that opportunity hopefully into a win. Every opportunity won't be a win. Every single loss can be an opportunity, however. might sound cold depending on the loss where you're at and when you look for guidance just remember a man can sharpen a man but to a larger extent if you really it's really guidance you need and sharpening you need then you need to look to something harder right the person needs to look upwards toward friendship not downwards. I mean, it's good to befriend somebody and help somebody and give somebody a hand up. No question. I do it all the time. I do it every, every day. I do it. But if you're down at the bottom and you feel at the bottom and you need a hand up, then change the people that surround you. Get away from the negativity. Get away from the naysayers. And look for a new circle. Look for associations that will lift you and elevate you into their fold, and then that you may turn around and elevate another.
Anyway, I just want to talk about that because there's a lot of fake people in the world. And there's never any shortage of people that would like to see you falter and stumble and fall. That makes big headlines and people love to see it. And I don't know why, I guess it's just a sign of the times. Like maybe it's always been that way to some extent. But if you need, then reach out. Reach out. Grill the cause. It's, uh, it's not just YouTube. There's Gorilla with the Calls, and YouTube is just a simple tool. Gorilla with the Calls exploits. And yeah, a lot of the videos are just fluff. Shit about training, diet, nutrition, and they're all designed to help you improve, and hopefully they're common interests many of us share. But that's not the crux of it. The crux of it is true fellowship, brotherhood, sisterhood, camaraderie, kinship. Anyway, just some stuff on my mind. Don't know if I was able to elucidate it very clearly. I had looked for, pulled on a few quotes that um, in the past I've drawn comfort and wisdom from just to share with you. So if you got anything out of this, that's awesome. And if you didn't, I'm sorry to waste your time. But like I said, if you need, reach out. Reach out.